Hi everybody, this is the Canadian Witch. Uh, this video is going to be part one of um, Energy and Visualization series. Today I'll speak about energy. And next video is going to be on um, visualization. So I'll concentrate on energy for this one. So, since I'm a kid, I, I can feel the energy, do energy balls, um, fill my body with energy, uh, transfer the energy. See, it's something I learned on my own. I guess I was really a bored kid that had nothing better to do than having fun in my head and playing with that field of energy that comes from you and through you and from other nature items so when when I was young very young like six seven years old my mom used to um, tell us to heat up her hands by clapping and rubbing so it heats up and she she's she used to say when you feel that tingling sensation you're gonna feel your hands heat up but what she didn't tell me is that that tingling sensation is energy that you're feeling by doing a friction remember that your hands are like the uh, north and south pole the plus and minus from batteries it's uh, yeah, our hands are more mm, a lot like batteries. If you friction the the north and south together, it's going to create uh, energy. And so to when you feel that that little energy, the the tingling you with that you can do so much you you can use it in your magic to um, um I'm looking for the word um well to fill with energy uh let's say a candle or a talisman or any work um that you want to do. Uh, it can also serve to heal. You can use that the that energy that you get through you and from you, you can use it to heal someone or to um, make something totally energized like it can even be gifts it can be the animals um, animals needs um, some love and energy too so when I get too much I energy I just play with my cat then he goes insane for a little while because <laughs> he gets filled with the energy but yeah, as a child, I was doing the clapping and rubbing, and then at some point, I felt something else than just the tingling, and that's how I learned on my own how to create the energy balls, which I'm going to explain I'm sorry, I keep yawning and repeating the videos and I just don't want to do it 50 times. So, 
you're gonna have to <laughs> deal with my yawning. Um, another way that I found that I could feel energy was with um, quartz crystals. So it's really good when you have that little pointy end. Um, what I used to find out is that when you put the quartz at your hands but not touching, like just enough to say that you're not touching. And you, what I used to do uh, is instead of just staying in one spot, you can do like little circles like that. A bit like a spiral, which will shift the energy that and your blood that is inside you. It's really good for the um, circulation. So when you do that, it, you're you're gonna start feeling some tingling. But instead of being like when you clap your hands, that it's your full hands to becoming tingly. It's normally just where, around where you point the quartz at. And for some people, the feeling is different. Like I've done it to my mother. And when I used to do it to her, like here, it's something that I should, that I realize now that if I had been older and knowing more when I did that to her, I could have guessed she had a problem. Because when I used to do this to her around like the base here, she would feel the, the tingling sensation in her fingers and the the end and she said that it would hurt and funnily enough is that the fingers that she was talking that it was her hurting her the most when I was doing the crystal is the fingers that are affected by carpal tunnel and she had a surgery years later for her carpal tunnel so I guess that with the quartz I was able to um, make her feel um, the pain like not activated but being con conscient about the the feeling and I wish I knew then because I could have told her that it's not supposed to hurt so I thought she was just sensible to the energy and that it was too much for her but yeah I should have well there's nothing I could do at that age but if I knew you see like the energy is not just for fun it can help you like Reiki you use the you use energy that goes through you to heal people so even just with the crystal I could have been able to tell her she she had an issue um, to get it checked because it wasn't supposed to hurt her so I yeah that's that's pretty much how I was able to feel the energy at first which made me able to grow it into working with it and um, shifting the energy and sharing it, um, building it, crafting it. So, so next episode that I'll be talking about um, the energy, I'll show how to do energy balls. But next episode is going to be on uh, the visualization. So I'm going to have exercises for you. So that's it for today. Take care, buddy. Bless be. Bye.